Tonight, we know the name of a 27-year-old man who died on the El Capitan hiking trail. Friends of Sergio de Jesus Santiago Sufi called for help on Sunday, but it was too late before an emergency helicopter could get there. CBS 8's Brian White is in Lakeside at the El Capitan trailhead with how experts say you can stay safe. <clears throat> Yeah, Marcella Jesse, apparently Sergio told his friends he wasn't feeling well, possibly suffering from heat exhaustion. Now, I talked with a number of hikers out here today about what they do to prepare for a trail like this one. This was the scene Sunday evening at the bottom of the El Capitan trailhead. You can see sheriff's deputies on scene investigating the death of 27-year-old Sergio de Jesus Santiago Sufi, whose friends called for help around 6.30 in the evening. The first thought is sadness for the hiker and the family um, because a loss like that particularly at that age is is really difficult right now an official cause of death has not been determined but sergio is said to have been showing signs of heat exhaustion it happens a lot i mean you've got um i used to live in arizona and camelback would have a couple of fatalities a year mike baker is a runner and says he's made some mistakes out here at el capitan before when i did this the first time I did not bring enough water and felt it. And so, uh, yeah, being prepared matters. Today, he's running up to the top, and he's not going to make that same mistake again. I'm going to be out for three hours, two and a half hours. Uh, I have way more than enough water that I need. Got some suns sunscreen. And, uh, those are the important things. And Debbie Abruzzo from Lakeside has been hiking this trail for two years. She shared some helpful tips. It's also nice to have kind of a wet, a rag, sometimes we even freeze it and put it around our necks and that helps also. Before Mike Duhigg hopped on his mountain bike for a ride on the trail, he put on plenty of sunscreen and drank water too. I tend to run a little dehydrated, uh, but I always carry water and um, usually try to ride with someone else. Carrying extra water doesn't cost you very much and it may end up saving your life. David Lipsitz runs the San Diego Hiking Society Facebook page and he shared what he calls the 10 essentials. Navigation, some some form of light protection from the sun you want to have something to take care of first aid having a knife or a multi-tool um, being able to create or start a fire shelter is a good idea then extra food extra water extra clothes now you guys another interesting thing david mentioned was how younger people sometimes don't recognize the signs of heat exhaustion early enough and may not know when to quit so it's important to know that this type of thing can happen to anyone at any age and brian you know this hiker you mentioned it was only 27 years old he was hiking with his friends on an overcast day are there signs to look out for to tell people that you are suffering from heat exhaustion or dehydration yeah, if you're feeling weak, dizzy, uh, nauseous, uh, having any types of headaches, uh, feeling very thirsty, these are the signs to look out for. And if you're feeling that way, you may want to seek out some shade and try to cool down any way you can until help can arrive. Yeah, don't try to finish the hike and make sure you always hike with a buddy. Uh, such a sad case. I, don't, I know we don't know the official cause of death, but definitely a reminder for all of us to be prepared. Thanks for sharing that with us, Brian.